We got, I got about seven minutes left in the day. Seven minutes left in the day, so there's still time for me to say to you, Happy Mardi Gras, my friend. Oh, happy, happy Mardi, Mardi Gras, Gras to you. Happy Thank Mardi you. Gras to you. Happy Fat Tuesday. Laissez le bon temps rouler. Le bon temps rouler. That's baby. exactly right. And that means tomorrow is Lent. Ash right. Wednesday, Lent. Uh huh, uh huh. You giving up anything for Lent? Um, I'm not giving up anything for Lent this mm. year. I think I might. I think, uh, I'm thinking about, um, giving up hope. <laughs> it's either that or alcohol. And one of them's gotta go. Uh, oh, well, speaking of uh, Mardi Gras, I've got some beads here. And uh, just in case, just in case Donald Trump is watching, show us your taxes. <laughs> show us your taxes. Got that. Thank you very much. <laughs> legally, legally he has to now. Legally he has to. Now, we've been talking about Donald Trump's address to Congress, uh, but he wasn't the only one speaking tonight. For their rebuttal, the Democrats chose former Kentucky Governor Steve Bashir, who spoke from your normal, relatable, everyday diner where everyone faces the same direction in terrified silence. <laughs> Governor? I'm Steve Bashir. And I'm still waiting on my Denver omelet. <laughs> Could we? All right. Bashir had an inclusive message. I'm a proud Democrat, but first and foremost, I'm a proud Republican and Democrat and mostly American. I'm also a man, but first and foremost, I'm a woman and a man <laughs> and mostly human and a dog, rough, rough. <laughs> Who's a good boy? I am. Showing a retired politician from a darkened cafeteria reinforced the Democrats' central message for 2017, please don't tell them where we're hiding. <laughs> Democrats chose Bashir because he successfully implemented Obamacare in Kentucky, a deeply red state. Although, thanks to Obamacare, the redness has subsided and the swelling has gone down. <laughs> also, thanks to Obamacare, Kentucky's uninsured rate dropped over 12% which meant thousands of Kentuckians were finally able to get treatment for, for their debilitating cases of banjo thumb. So, it is no surprise that Bashir was a passionate defender of the Affordable Care Act. This isn't a game. It's life and death for people. Although I'll admit, life is a game. It's fun to put the little pegs and drive the little car around and zzz, zzz, little zzz on the wheel. He spoke eloquently of the people who may lose their health care. But just who are these 22 million Americans, including 500,000 people right here in Kentucky, who now have health care that didn't have it before? Look, they're not aliens from some distant planet. Otherwise, they sure as hell wouldn't be coming here to get decent health care. <laughs> and Bashir described the average Americans who use Obamacare. They're farmers, restaurant workers, part-time teachers, nurses' aides, construction workers, and entrepreneurs working at high-tech startups. They're people trapped in a diner with no means of escape. <laughs> help, send help. So. People who believe that Donald Trump is an existential threat to this nation, to the experiment of democracy, to Western civilization itself, take heart. Because for their powerful rebuttal, the Democrats showed a rerun of The Andy Griffith Show. <laughs> we'll be right back with Obama Press Secretary Josh Hart.